Hello there, how are you doing today? Okay, today I'm going to help you out with an error message that you get while you're trying to uh, push a code from your local repository to a remote repository on the GitHub. Now, uh, you get this error message because of two main reasons. One, you do not have the SSH keys generated in your system and they are not added in your GitHub account. Two, although the SSH keys are generated in your system, they are not added in your GitHub account. Okay, before we jump into the solution, I would like to give a little background on the concept of SSH so you understand the problem here better. So SSH is secure shell. So while you're trying to transfer files over the internet, it could be intercepted by a hacker. So SSH helps to create a secure connection between the client machine and the server machine. So it basically creates a private key and a public key. The public key resides with the server and the private key resides with the client machine. So when the client machine tries to establish a connection with the server, it shares the ID of the key pair with the server. The server, what it does is it creates a challenge with the public key and throws it back to the client machine. The client machine then again decrypts the challenge with the help of the private key and sends back the challenge that was originally shared. Now once the server receives this, it allows the connection to take place and finally you get to transfer the files. Okay, that's pretty much about SSH. Now coming back to a solution, I'll help you out with a series of steps to make sure that you can overcome this error message. So we'll go with the first situation where the SSH keys are not generated in your system and they are not added in your GitHub account. Okay, so first you check for your SSH keys, whether they are there in your system. So you just copy it here, go back to your command line, just paste it. Alright, I do not see any specific keys, so I'm going to go ahead and create those keys. So this uh, series of steps are there in the description below, you can just check it out. To create the key, what you need to do is, you need to copy this line, paste it in your bash. Now before you run it, you need to replace the email ID. So the email ID here would be the email ID of your GitHub account. Make sure that you have the right email ID. Once you do, you click on enter. Now it will ask you for the location where the key needs to be created. So you just click on enter and it will get created in the default location. Now it is asking me for the fast phrase. Okay, so what is fast phrase? So fast phrase basically gives an additional security to the keys so that if hacker gets access to the keys, he would not be able to use it. So it basically locks the keys with the help of the fast phrase that you enter. Okay, so I am going to put the fast phrase. I'm going to confirm it. All right the keys have been generated now going back to the next step what we do is we are going to go ahead and uh, add these keys that have been generated to the SSH agent now you might be wondering what is SSH agent so SSH, SSH agent is basically like uh, something that works on behalf of the client system so it handles all the uh, request of establish a, establishing a connection between the client and the server and uh, handles all the keys all right so i'm going to add 
the key before I add the key I'm sorry I'm going to fire up the agent okay so I'm going back to the bash I'm going to paste it here and there you go now, what the next step is I'm going to go ahead and give the key to the SSH agent so that it can act on behalf of the system okay so it is asking me for the fast phrase I'm going to enter it alright so identity added it to the SSH agent so the next step that you need to do is you need to uh, add the keys that have been generated to your github account okay so uh, before we add the key we need to pull up the key so you just, you just copy this line here okay and just paste it here now notice that uh, you have to make sure that you have the correct ID of the key okay otherwise you'll get an error message so just click on this there you go we have the key now now we will copy this key and we are going to add it to our github account so I'm going to go to my little profile icon here go to settings and then I'm going to click on SSH and GPG keys I'm going to click on new SSH key just enter a default name title then I'm going to add the key that I copied from the bash and then I click on add SSH key alright so it has been added now coming back to check whether we can now successfully push the code to the remote repository I'm going to run the command okay fingers crossed voila we have successfully committed the code to the remote repository we are also going to check it from the github account let us go to our repository I'm going to open the repository okay all right we have the code here perfect now this is the first situation the second situation might be where uh, the keys are already available in your system you just need to add it, it in your github account so what you do here is you go you follow the steps from the from here okay and then you should be able to move your code to the remote repository that is pretty much guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe and comment see ya bye